this is a Yashica film camera. I think this was a good like 12 years ago. Um, it uses a 35 millimeter film, which I bought from Cars and Motor. Okay, I don't use the film for work. It's just all for fun. And then I have two other um, cameras here, which are basically older ones. I think these are about 30 or 40 years old and then you wind it it makes that sweet winding sound you know and then you click it there you go there's something about film it's just there's this um, you don't know what you're getting you have to think about it more when it comes to film it's just cars and because it's the easiest thing it's the closest thing like take a 10-15 minute walk from Dell that's it you have your stuff printed come back two three days and they're good. Them closing, I don't think it's gonna cut a lot of customers. They're not gonna lose a lot of customers because um, people who do this do this because they actually like doing it. I'm in my 14th year. I started here in August of uh, 96 and will be unemployed or be out of work as of the 31st of March uh, this year. Uh, the building has been up for sale since the early part of January. Uh, with the building up for sale, the uh, new owners were not expected to keep us as tenants and therefore uh, we've been told we have to close the store. And so they're going to consolidate the operation in our, in our Chain Lake Drive store uh, out in Bears Lake. And so the company will keep, will keep going, but this particular location will be shutting down. The, the store closing and me being out of work, uh, in one respect, I am looking forward to it because it's some, an opportunity to try something different. Uh, yet at the same time, I am going to miss both the co-workers as well as the customers. Uh, we've got a good loyal base of customers here who may or may not make it up to the other store. The street itself is looking pretty uh, desolate in many ways. If you walk along Quimple Road, Goddard Street, or even Spring Garden Road, there's signs of life. You might walk along Barrington Street and there's nothing. And it's uh, So I'm hoping that whoever takes over the building will quickly renovate it and have something in here very quickly so that it's not this, another empty building.